In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this A4 size CV design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, you can at the top part, you can add your uh, photo and then you can add the name and the curriculum vitae or if you want, you can just change this uh, text and then the first thing you can add your profile and then this is where you can add the profile and then you can add the contact details like telephone, email, the location as well as the website and then you can add your skill sets here i have provided the options for six skill sets and then at the bottom you can add your education as well as the work experience and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with older version uh, you can do it but some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide size to a4 let me just show you how to change that one go to design and you can see the slide size here click on the slide size and select the custom slide size and then from the drop down list you need to select the a4 paper size and the slide orientation make it a portrait and click on ok so you end up having the a4 size uh, slide size then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select a rectangle here draw a rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark color here you can see here i'm using some blue gray color and then go to insert shapes select a right triangle draw a right triangle here the same uh, color we need to change I'm going to make it no outline again same color and then I'm going to rotate it you can see here flip vertical let me just zoom in and you have to make sure that the uh, size are aligned all right otherwise if you make it like this it will look like this so we don't want that to happen and then right mouse click edit points and you can see your three points select the below point and just drag this outside something like this and here also drag it somewhat outside so we end up getting a shape something like this all right then i'm selecting both these shapes all right and go to merge shape and click on union now let's add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the top and make sure that the size is somewhat bigger than this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it this uh, light the turquoise color and then send this to back and if you want to edit further if uh, right mouse click edit points and you can see uh, the points you can edit if you want if you don't want let it be like that so once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle here all right make sure it is in the center shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and then this is where you are going to add the photograph so shape outline maybe you can give some orange color and then you can increase the weight and then shape fill you can use some light color here and then you can add the photograph and once this is done you can go to insert text box add your name all right center align make it white font if you want and make it bold and increase the size a little bit 28 is too much i think so maybe 24 is okay and then below press ctrl d and then you can type your position or designation whatever you use p o s i t i o n position and then you can just reduce the size make it no bold so once this is done we are going to add the details now so go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose this particular rectangle which is the rectangle diagonal cor corners rounded select that one make maybe this much size and then you can see here two orange point drag this orange point somewhat inside and reduce the size 
shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make it a dark color the blue gray the same color which we have used earlier and then reduce the size a little bit and make sure that this is align center and here i'm going to add the profile so go to text box and i'm going to type profile and center align make it white make it bold you can choose any font of your choice maybe i'm going to make it 14 and i'm going to place this one in the center if not select both this one go to format align and make it center all right and then this one i'm going to group it press ctrl g to group it and then go to insert text box you can add the details here equals lorem within bracket one all right and here i'm going to give the same font color reduce the size to maybe 12 center align you can see here and make sure that it is within this one all right and if you want to increase the size you can increase this one so you can see here i have uh, placed the detailed text here then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and then just drag this down all right and then here i'm going to talk about contact contact details again the contact details what you can do is you can add your mobile email website location or whatever for that you can add some icons always icons looks good so go to insert click on icons and these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint and few months back i have provided the icon uh, uh, template you can just download and use it so i'm just going to select the communication and maybe this one i'm going to select this one this as well as i think i have to go and search for some location or something like that let me just go down i want to select something else also which is maybe this one which is location here this one as well as i'm going to select this one also and click insert you can see here the size i'm going to make it as maybe 0.3 or lesser than that and the graphic fill i'm going to give the same color the first thing i'm going to put the uh, mobile number here and then it comes the email address you can give a little bit gap so go to insert text box and i'm going to type 0111234567 so this is my mobile number same color reduce the size the font any of your choice you can choose all right and put it here hold the control shift key together your oh, i'll just say name at email.com all right and then this two location also will come here exactly in the same line and this also just make sure that this is properly aligned all right and then this two also i'm going to hold the control shift key and adding it here you can say your location details or address details and name at or name i'll just say www.website.com all right so this is your contact details and after the contact details i'm going to drag this down and then i'm going to add the skill sets what are the skills i have so you can see here i have got space so for the skills i'm going to add the text which the same text here i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to put it here and maybe i'm going to make it bold this one i'm just saying that skills one or skill one and reduce the size here and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle small rectangle here all right and put it here shape outline no outline and shape fill the same color i'm going to use let me just zoom in and if you want you can increase the height a little bit and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle once again draw a smaller rectangle this time all right and put it here exactly 
shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give this orange color all right and then maybe i'm going to place it like this all right so now this is my skill one i'm going to select this hold the control shift key together this is my skill two we can see here let me just zoom in and skill three and make sure that equal spacing is there and then i'm going to select all again hold the control shift key together and this is my the other skill so skill two skill three four five and six now depending on the requirement you can just increase it so you can see here increase the the, the length so this one i want to reduce it and this one i want to increase it like this i can increase it and here also this one i want to reduce a little bit and increase it almost 200 percent and this one also like this so you can see here the skills are done and then after the skills i'm going to select this one and going to add the qualification or education all right and then once the education you can type the which uh, year you have completed the text or uh, sorry the the graduation so go to insert shapes i'm going to select a diamond shape here select a uh, draw a diamond shape a small diamond shape shape outline no outline shape fill the same color and then you can add the year go to insert text box or i can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here make it bold and then you can say from 2005 to 2000 say nine i did the for example a graduation okay college or whatever year you can add it here at the bottom so i'm just going to put only the year here and then you can add at the bottom the college all right i can say that your college name all right and again the same font reduce the size to maybe 11 and then i'm going to choose the font open sans and put it here and then below you can add the detailed text so equals i'm going to type the text l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and i don't want additional text again same font same color and reduce the size okay to 10.5 maybe and then i'm going to just select this one and hold the control shift key together and add the other side and maybe this is from 2009 to 2012 other college details also you can add once this is done hold the shift key and bring it here and then you can add your qualification or other information for example i'm going to talk about a work experience here work experience and this work experience also i'm just going to select both these things and bring it down and then you can change this one from 2000 say 12 to 2015 you worked for a company just company name like this you can add and if you feel that the size or the the uh, page size is not enough i can just select and bring it more up also all right and if you want you can just add additional a uh, slide also or a, a page and then if you want one more border at the bottom you can add the border so that's this is how you can make a good professional cv and all the best for your job requirement so once the cv is ready add your photo here and after adding the photo you can go to the file and you can click on the export and 
create the PDF file just click on this one a PDF file will be created and that PDF file you can use it to send the CV to the companies